Hey guys, Daniel here and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how many calories you need per day to gain muscle. Uh, the, I'm going to give you two formulas. You're going to choose which one applies, which one is best for you. And finally, you're going to know exactly how many calories you need to eat. And everything else is going to be just, just easy. Just hit the gym, eat the amount of calories and sleep. So listen on. Uh, I spent a lot of time researching this. Uh, yesterday and today, between these two days, I read uh, two books cover to cover about the subject. So I'm not talking about just uh, uh, something I, I, I found here and there. So basically, to build muscle, you need to, get, you need to eat more calories than the ones that you consume. It it's comes, comes to, uh, as simple as calories in, calories out. But the question is, how many calories do I need? So get your body weight. Let's use an example of a person that weighs 200 pounds. Get your body weight and multiply that by 11. Okay, for this guy, let's call him a uh, uh, whatever. Just for this guy, 2,200 calories is what he needs every single day just to maintain what he has, uh, his organs for to function, his brain to function, uh, everything inside his body, just to maintain it as is. He needs to eat his body weight times 11. Okay, 2200 calories. Now, we're going to apply in then one, one thing that we call the metabolic rate. Okay, the metabolic rate. And there's different levels, different types of metabolic rate. Uh, there is a slow metabo metabolic rate, there's a moderate metabolic rate, and there's a fast metabolic rate. So, how to know which one are you? Well, if you have a slow metabolic rate, you, um, you eat, you know, normal two two three meals a, a day and you gain weight easy okay normally if you have friends that are a little chubby a little uh, a little thick it's possible they have a, a slow metabolic rate uh, moderate would be uh, somebody that you know let's say on the holidays uh, you you know you ate a little bit more than normal and uh, and that's when you gain weight you know but uh, on the every day you just uh, you eat normal uh, you tend to to maintain your your weight just uh, all, all year round, okay. And uh, fast metabolic rate would be someone that just could eat any crap that you put in front of him or her, and the weight just doesn't go anywhere. It just uh, he can just eat junk all day, and it could be a skinny person. So uh, anyway, if you have if you have a slow metabolic rate. You're gonna be, uh, you're gonna have a thirty per. It's, it's gonna be a thirty percent bracket for you, for uh, uh, you know calories in metabolic rate. If you have a, I'll explain this in just a moment. Just um, if you have a moderate metabolic rate, it's gonna be forty percent. Uh, it goes, it goes up ten percent. And if you have a fast metabolic rate, it goes up ten percent, so fifty percent. Now all of these numbers are if you're in your twenties, okay? If you're in your thirties, you're gonna Basically, reduce these uh, percentages by five. All right. So if you're in your 30s, you have a low metabolic rate. You instead of 30, you have 25 percent. If you are in your 30s and you have a moderate uh, metabolic rate, you're gonna have a, have a 35 percent bracket. And then if you have a fast one, 40 percent bracket, 45 percent bracket. Um, and then if you're in your 40s, it goes down 10, you know, no, not 10, but five percent again. If you're in your 50s, 5% again, and so on and forth, okay? Now, what, what do we do with this bracket? What do we do with this percentage? Uh, let's go back to our example. This guy weighs uh, 20, uh, 200 pounds. Uh, his idol, his maintenance calorie level is 2,200. Uh, this, this guy is in his 20s, and he, uh, he has a fast metabolism, okay? So a fat metabolism in his 20s would put him into the 20, um, not a 20, the 50 percent bracket. So 2,200, he has to eat every day plus 50 percent of this 2,200, which is 1,100. So that would be 11, uh, 3,300 calories that he needs to eat. Uh, just to uh, to function like a normal uh, human being, all right. Now, if this person wanted to gain weight, all right, if he got it, wanted to uh, to bulk up, we would have to add a 500, 500 calorie surplus to this thirty three hundred, 
So that would put him into a 3,800 calories per day. And that would, uh, 500 calorie surplus is enough uh, extra calories for your body to build muscle, uh, but it's not too much, so your body would be, um, you know, storing it or turning it into fat. It's, it's a little bit of a sweet spot. Now, if you follow this formula, and after a month, you, you notice that you're not gaining weight at all, uh, maybe change the brackets, change uh, uh, the, the percentage that you have, the metabolic rate percentage, uh, until you find your sweet spot. If you're hitting the gym, you're, you're you know, really pushing it, uh, you should be gaining weight muscle with this, uh, with this formula and not fat, okay? Now, we can break these calories. Let's go back to the example of this guy. That's um, uh, 3,800 calories he eats per day. Then we break it into the macros. And macros are uh, protein, carbs, and fat. Okay. Now, each gram of protein or carbs, excuse me, each each uh, gram equals four calories. Okay, four calories each, and each gram of fat equals nine calories. All right. So if this person has to eat thirty-eight hundred calories. And then we want to do, we want to break it into 30% protein, 30% uh, carb, and 40% uh, fat. Then you have to break that down to get this, uh, uh, how many grams of protein, how many grams of, of everything. So that's the topic for another video. I think for this we got enough. Just remember, this is a rule, the rule of thumb. There could be exceptions. But just remember, it's all about calories in, calories out, all right? You won't gain muscle if you are burning more calories than what you eat every single day, all right? And at the same time, if you eat too many more calories than what you, uh, you know, beyond your maintenance and metabolic rate, you're going to gain fat. So it all comes down to numbers. Uh, you, can, you should probably uh, watch this video again, take some notes. This formula applies to most people. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos about my journey, uh, building my physique, my diet, exercise, tips like this, things that I'm learning, some philosophy. So, uh, Daniel Fernandez, and I'll see you guys in the next video.